Well, hello there, and welcome back. We are in Cambodia for Khmer New Year once again. This is my second year um, spending Khmer New Year in uh, the province, province of Kampong Kham, and we're heading up again. I made uh, several videos last year about this event and how wonderful it is, and we're back this year. Here we are, um, first things first, putting the goodie bags together with the kramas and the other gifts and a little bit of money. Um, there's a lot of dancing, a lot of dancing, um, every night for four nights actually. And at the temple, there's a lot of other activities at the temple during the day, uh, honoring the monks. And as I'll explain, um, there are basically three main activities. One is honoring the dead, that's at the cemetery first up. Then uh, honoring the elderly with a fun and uh, honorable water uh, dousing event, which you'll see. Plenty of food, plenty of food, um, and dancing. We will be dancing a lot. So let's get into it. So here we are at the cemetery. The entire family is here. Uh, you have to schedule uh, your monk time. Um, so everyone meets at a specified time. There are many families, as you, you'll see, um, doing this. It's a, it's, it's a very special and beautiful Buddhist tradition. Um, got the suckling pig there, as you'll see. Um, uh, center stage and um, let's take a look <laughs> Here's the entire family all gathered together for our group portrait. And then it's um, wrap up the suckling pig. Uh, it's heading back to the uh, family compound. Uh, it will not go to waste, as you'll see here. Um, yeah, so end of a beautiful day. Tomorrow, we'll probably be dancing. But first, uh, this is honoring the elderly. This is a lot of fun, as you'll see. But this year there was a twist. Uh, they said, hey Tom, guess what? You're now one of the elderly. So they sat me down and there I am. And um, trust me, the water has ice cubes in it. So it's very cold, but it's a lot of fun. I mean, after all, it's probably 95 degrees here, uh, Fahrenheit. Um, a fun event, as you see, um, but it is also um, prayerful. <laughs> This wonderful old man, uh, he is crippled. He's 96 years old. God bless him. And uh, the portrait I took of this granny, a beautiful lady, uh, unfortunately, she passed away about a month after uh, participating in, the, in this event. Well, now down to some serious business. Um, yeah, it's 
Time to eat.
So this is now, I guess, an annual tradition. I want to do my small part, and several of the uncles are members of this volunteer police force. Uh, they are volunteers, they don't get paid. Um, so a small donation to each of them, there's about 30 of them, um, maybe enough for uh, one meal for each of their families, uh, just a small gesture. Um, it makes me feel good. Wash uh, the mud off our sneakers from our dance shoes and on to the next day. We are having our morning ritual, um, iced coffee. Um, I think it's responsible for me gaining at least two kilos um, on every trip. A um, little, little sweet, but uh, so delicious. Thank you. Well, this is a special treat. This is perhaps the national dish of Cambodia. Beef lak lak. Uh, marinated beef served over vegetables, fried egg on top. Just delicious. The pepper and Kempot pepper and lime juice dipping sauce. Ooh. Okay, I give my personal favorite vote for this um, dance team all dressed nicely with their hats, matching shirts. Time for a Buddha bracelet. And then we are wrapping things up here in Cambodia at the Khmer New Year festival in Barre village, Kampong Tom. Hope to enjoy it again next year, planning on it. So for now, Bye-bye from Cambodia. <laughs>